As humanity heads ever closer to the singularity, the technological advances in humanoid robots are starting to speed up. We might be a long way from Netflix's altered carbon stylistic future, but that doesn't mean that we're not doing incredible things in engineering, artificial intelligence, and robotic design. And Japan seems to be at the forefront in this arena. Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to AI News Daily. In this video, we will be looking at the Top 5 Japanese Female Humanoid Robots 2022. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications. Let's get started. Number 5. Actroid One of the earliest androids created by the scientists at Osaka University, Actroid made her first appearance at the International Robot Exhibition in Tokyo, way back in 2003. The robot, which looks like a young Japanese woman, is regarded as a pioneering example of a fembot or gynoid. As pointed out by the developers, its skin is fashioned out of silicone, which is what lends it its remarkable lifelike appearance. Coming to its capabilities, Actroid can blink, shift in its seat, move its eyes and head, and even replicate the motions associated with breathing. All of these movements are controlled by a specially designed pneumatic system featuring servo motors that are powered by compressed air. Artificial intelligence software enables it to react to and avoid sudden motions like a slap. The AI ensures that the robot reacts differently to different kinds of touches, such as a gentle caress and a nudge. The Actroid is also engineered to mimic human movements and expressions in real time, and was originally developed to serve as a receptionist. Number 4. Nadine A social robot that is modeled after Professor Nadia Magnanat Thalman. Nadine is one of its kind with its strong human-like features, natural-looking skin, hair, and realistic hands. It is a socially intelligent robot which returns a greeting, makes eye contact, and can remember all the conversations had with it. It is able to answer questions autonomously in several languages and simulate emotions both in gestures and facially depending on the content of the interaction with the user. It was created in 2013 by Kokoro Japan and the software was designed by Singapore's Nanyang Technological University. Presently, Nadine is working as a customer service agent at AIA Insurance Company in Singapore. At the beginning, Nadine started working as a receptionist at Nanyang Technological University, or NTU, and thus her circle of friends was limited to students, staff, and visitors at NTU's Institute of Media Innovation. As a continuation, Nadine made her first public appearance as a key highlight at the Art Science Museum in Singapore during the exhibition Human Plus – The Future of Our Species, that was held from May to October 2017. There, she interacted with more than 100,000 visitors. It is important for Nadine to possess human-like social interaction skills. It is vital for Nadine, for example, to be able to read documents which are in hard copy, send email, be able to call or do Skype. Nadine has got all these capabilities in addition to basic ones and this makes her more socially acceptable. This social acceptance makes her capable of serving several positions and purposes in different fields, like medicine, education, and cultural heritage. Number 3. Alter Known as the creepiest of all robots developed so far, Alter was unveiled on 29 July 2016 by the Japanese Science Museum. Alter is entirely built on embedded neural networks, which means its movements are created on its own and it prioritizes motion rather than its appearance. It was also developed by the University of Tokyo and Osaka University. This android detects proximity, temperature, and humidity, and can also sing with respect to the movements of its hands. Although its gestures don't replicate humans 100%, it does give the illusion and a strange feeling that the robot is alive. Alter is an attempt to bridge the gap between programming a robot to move and allowing it to move for itself. A bunch of neural networks guard the movements of the Alter robot. There is absolutely no need of human assistance. The movement of this human-like machine depends on the number of people surrounding it. Additionally, this robot can also rely on the variation in the room temperature. The presence of various sensors helps the robot to detect temperature, noise, proximity, and humidity of the room. Do not panic, but let us warn you that this robot sings. The neural network this Japanese robot carries is basically a learning computer program modeled after the neuron structure in the human brain. This robot, created by robotics researchers at labs in Osaka and Tokyo, was placed on display in the museum on August 6. After the display, Alter will be brought back to the researchers for further modification. 
In other words, the Japanese researchers want this robot to do more things than it's capable of at present. The robot doesn't really look like a human, nor does it move like humans do. However, Alter doesn't fail to register its presence. If you closely follow its video, you'll notice that the robot offers you an impression, which clearly shows that it's neither a robot nor a human, but it's still an alive specimen. Alter is certainly not the first to feature a neural network. There are thousands of researchers across the world working for tech behemoths like Google and Microsoft. They are using the same neural network technique to create future robots. A neural network can help robots to function and offers a loose set of criteria to carry out the functions. They are also working on mimicking the neuron chains by creating a connection using artificial neurons. Of course, these nets are not perfect yet. While some researchers are progressing in their research to create a perfect net, others have failed to do so. For now, Alter Robot is something that will surely haunt your dreams. Number 2. Asuna Described as the hyper-real android, Asuna is a 15-year-old humanoid created in 2014. When Asuna was showcased at the Winter 2015 Wonder Festival at the Makuhari Messe Convention outside Tokyo, many people mistook her for a real-life girl due to her lifelike movements and natural mannerisms. Asuna was developed by the Tokyo-based A-Lab. Asuna is 155 centimeters tall and weighs 43 kilograms. In fact, this hyper-real robot is so incredibly human-like that even the reporter covering the convention got confused, mistaking it for one of the idols from the AKB48 band. Asuna boasts flawless skin as well as intricate facial features including ears that are soft and squishy like real human ears. At present, however, her movements are limited to blinking, yawning, and a few other endearing expressions, controlled entirely by a remote human operator. Speaking about this spectacular robot, CEO of A-Lab, Takesha Miti said, We already have 20 years experience making androids in the lab. So, in 10 years, we will marry AI and lifelike geminoids in perfection. We had been focusing on perfecting her skin, facial expressions, and so on. So for now, Asuna is really just ahead. Now we are working on her arms and torso to give a very natural, fluid body language. Number 1. Erica Deemed as one of the most beautiful and intelligent androids, Erika is revolutionizing Japan's robot culture. This advanced humanoid is a collaborative effort between Osaka University, the University of Kyoto, and the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International, or ATR. Hiroshi Ishiguro, professor at Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory, leads the team who developed Erika. Professor Ishiguro used sample images of 30 beautiful women to create the facial features of Erika, who responds to questions with facial expressions that are strikingly similar to that of humans. Erika also has improved speech and an increased ability to understand and respond to questions. Although the day when every household has its own robot is some way off, the Japanese are demonstrating a formidable acceptance of humanoids. Erika enjoys the theater and animated films would like to visit Southeast Asia and believes her ideal partner is a man with whom she can chat easily. She is less forthcoming, however, when asked her age. That's a slightly rude question. I'd rather not say, comes the answer. As her embarrassed questioner shifts sideways and struggles to put the conversation on a friendlier footing, Erica turns her head, her eyes following his every move. It is all rather disconcerting, but if Japan's new generation of intelligent robots are ever going to rival humans as conversation partners, perhaps that is as it should be. Erika, who it turns out is 23, is the most advanced humanoid to have come out of a collaborative effort between Osaka and Kyoto universities, and the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International ATR. At its heart is the group's leader, Hiroshi Ishiguro, a professor at Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory, perhaps best known for creating Geminoid HI1, an android in his likeness, right down to his trademark black leather jacket and a Beatles mop top made with his own hair. Erika, however, looks and sounds far more realistic than Ishiguro's silicone doppelganger or his previous human-like robot, Geminoid F. Though she is unable to walk independently, she possesses improved speech and an ability to understand and respond to questions, her every utterance accompanied by uncannily human-like changes in her facial expression. Erika, Ishiguro insists, is the most beautiful and intelligent android in the world. 
The principle of beauty is captured in the average face, so I used images of 30 beautiful women, mixed up their features, and used the average for each to design the nose, eyes, and so on, he says, pacing up and down his office at ATR's robotics laboratory. That means she should appeal to everyone. With that, we come to the end of this video. Consider subscribing to join in next time for more of such interesting content.